Here's some history for you. Star Fox 64 introduced the rival Star Wolf team, which many believe were developed as foils to the Star Fox team members. However, designer Takaya Imamura originally developed them as foils to Chuck E. Cheese and the rest of Munch's make-believe band. We were starting a rival pizza place and wanted to show those Rock of Fire rejects what real music was. I'm talking Rush meets King Crimson, but if it was all composed by Bach. Unfortunately, the restaurant quickly closed after children wouldn't sit still for the 15-minute prog rock anthems. Imamaru threw his beloved Stellar Sonic Star Wolf experience into the game so they could finally live the space battles they once only rocked about. In fact, many Star Fox characters were inspired by musicians. General Pepper was based on George Harrison, Pigma Dengar was based on Odorous Arungus, and Andros was based on Buckethead, though at the time he was just Bucket Boy. One of the game's praised features was the Branching Planet system that changed story events based on the path you chose. One event that was cut from the final build had your teammate Slippy get possessed by a cosmic war god and develop an insatiable blood rage. You'll be sorry, punk! Your carcass is mine! I will rip the skin off your back and wear it as a stylish cape for when I walk the red carpet at the Murder Awards! I saw my life flash before my eyes! This path was cut after developers discovered it actually made Slippy likable. Though the GameCube Star Fox Adventures was the official follow-up to Star Fox 64, there is an unreleased sequel that Nintendo is saving to generate buzz for its N64 classic, slated for release next time the company has a lull in games.